This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. place was for. What the hell? Are they asleep? No. They appear to be well preserved. However, they are all dead. Dead? So this is a mass grave? Looks that way. However, none of them appear to be Helganquil. Bear in mind that Renans were originally Danans, who were remade and sent to live on Lenigus. Knowing that, they would have needed a place to perform the procedure somewhere. And that place is here, I assume. So what you're saying is that all of these are Danan, or rather, Renan bodies? Most likely, yes. It must have been abandoned for one reason or another. There are so many of them. They were all taken away, but never given the chance to wake. if we want to get across, it seems. Be careful! It's huge! What is with us? A huge lumbering beast lately. No ordinary zoo. That much is damn sure. Watch yourselves. All bets are off when it comes to this thing. to bring it down somehow to hit it. In that case, let's start with the one in the middle. Radiant Pierce! 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 Radiant Pierce!
What was that thing? Probably something that was made here and somehow managed to survive, even after all this time. Not that there's any way of knowing now. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, I just suddenly found myself contemplating what might have happened to the sovereigns that were meant to emerge from the crown contests. What do you mean? You see, the winners of the past crown contests were all strong astral arts practitioners. Furthermore, that enemy we just fought appeared to be composed of several human bodies. It was certainly nothing one would find in nature. You're saying those were the remains of the winners? That they forgot who they once were? I'm merely saying it's a possibility. That's... absolutely gruesome. How long had the Hell Ganquil been at this? It was Rena's great spirit that made them do all of this. Anything to get its astral energy. <sighs> we're not gonna jump down, right? I certainly hope not. After hearing Domulum's suggestion, I'm honestly not sure what to say.
I assure you all, I was merely stating the possibility. So, looks like the Helganquil have been engineering Zoogles too. Why doesn't that surprise me at this point? The creatures we've been encountering here have been a little different to what we're used to fighting. But I'm pretty sure they're Zoogles too. Do you think they were engineered using creatures native to the area? Indeed. However, based on the current circumstances, I would guess these Zoogles are all that's left of the planet's fauna now. You mean... there might have been native owl species here once upon a time too? Back in that other room? Did the teleporter fail or something? Something feels off about it. Look! Everything's upside down! The furnishings are at least. No, you're right. The whole room's flipped on its head. So what was once down is now up, and vice versa. I suppose the teleporter reversed our orientation then.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Hey, Law. Been training? Yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. You think this is bad, you should see the state of my underwear. Yeah, a word of advice. You might want to refrain from mentioning that stuff around girls. Ones without a military history especially. Man, can you imagine Rinwell's face? She'd have a nervous breakdown. I meant in general, but you sure mention her a lot, you know. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I, you know, she's always there, even when you least expect it. Springs to mind easily. Either that, or maybe some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there. May the trials and tribulations of young romance never change. R romance? Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. I'm more about mature women. Someone more like Kisara. You know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you've got to admit she can be a lot to handle. Hey, I miss anything? What's all the fuss about? Uh, Rinwell. Hmm. Thunderblade! Ah! What the hell was that for? A little birdie told me you were speaking about me behind my back. Whew. Uh, from the looks of it, I'd say you've got yourself a rival. It wouldn't be called the Spring of Youth without a little storm every now and then. Hey, Xion. How are you and Alfin getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry, it's just... I don't know, I'm just curious, I guess. I mean, a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... I guess it's complicated. I, I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Nagal, Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I've never touched you, Xion. But that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. B but that was a long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. I'll say, cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? He might just have a point. I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. If it's Alpin's palate you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well, friendship is about being supportive. Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? Even after staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's citizens tick. Renan and Danon are meaningless distinctions here. To have one's own mind is strictly forbidden. All that matters is blind obedience. That might be the case now, but it can't always have been like that. There must have been something more. Once, maybe. Question is, is that something still salvageable? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. No, not we. They've had enough foisted on them as it is. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge their own path. That's not to say it'll be easy, but it will be worthwhile. These things take time to... What the... An ambush? S sorry Sorry There was a huge flying bug and I sort of shot without thinking. A bug? You mean like a zoogle? Something tells me she would have shot it, whether it was a zoogle or not. This realm is teeming with humid forests. It's only natural insects would feel more at home here than Menencia. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food to ensure healthy incubation. 
Sounds like they're tougher than they look. Wh what about you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Insects as a culinary option, you say? What kind of seasoning are we talking? Dohalim, I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. side of that pathway we were walking on just a little while ago. This is crazy. Who knew such amazing technology existed? Everything salty turvy and that's all you can think about? Bear in mind, the core of Rena now Break yourself! when crafting weapons. What are those? They look like Shion's thorns. And with flowers, too. Not real ones, though. They're just like that flower growing out of Rena. We must be getting close to the Great Spirit now. Hey, Rinwell, what was that thing you said about how a little bit of Dana's great spirit is inside all of us? 
Right. That's why Dana's great spirit is so much more... diluted. Weak, even. Whether it was a choice so it didn't overpower others, or just the way it is, is anyone's guess. If that's true, then wouldn't it mean Dana's will could never form under natural conditions? Yeah, sounds like that's probably the case. So if Dana exists within all of us, then what if something occurred that brought everyone's hearts and minds together as one? That unity could potentially act as Dana's will. You mean if everybody was, like, thinking the exact same thing at the exact same time? Come on, there's no way we could pull that off. I know it's a long shot, but it might work. Let's assume that's even possible for a second. Would it even be enough to fight back against Rena's great spirit? If nothing else, it might be an option if we can't use the Rena Salma. Things are different here than on the surface. So here's a question. We came all this way to Rena on the assumption the Rena Salma's here, right? Don't. Just don't say it, Law. Yeah, but I'm just saying... I said don't. <laughs> I can understand why you might be concerned, Law. But you need to remember that there are people it affects more directly than you. <laughs> oh, sorry. We've managed to make it this far believing. Losing faith now won't do us any good. We're better off focusing our anxiety elsewhere. S such as? The Great Spirit. If Hebrecht 35's to be believed, our enemy won't just be handing over the Renus Alma to us. At least, not without a fight. Not only that, but that same enemy just gulped down more than an entire world's worth of astral energy. Hmm, point taken. It may be strange to say, but when I'm fighting, or at least know what needs to be done, it helps me a lot. I don't doubt myself as much. So thanks, both of you. <sighs> the floor's on the ceiling and the ceiling's on the floor. This whole thing's making my head spin. Why would they even do something like this? The Helganquil can bend life forms to suit their will. Nothing they could do at this point would surprise me. The ceiling is on the floor. That doesn't weird you out? What good is a team made up of members who all share the same opinions on everything? And besides, when you get to be at my ripe old age, one begins to consider it quite uncouth to show one's true emotions at times. Oh, come on, Grandpa. You can't be that old. The sands of time wait for none of us, lad. Yeah, we'll see. Though at this rate, I guess I'll have to live long enough to get as old as you first, huh? Y you will. And when the time comes, I look forward to hearing you change your tune on the matter. Feeling about 
us even more Anything in armor is all mine! 
I expect you'll be in high demand if that's the case. Medicine works as promised. Glacial spear. Here's the light. Magic is there. Free glitter. Arch required. Here. Arch the Going in a race. Will they touch you here? Healing can't be here. I never fit. I'm only getting ready. I'll burn it all. Did it? Free now try all this thing in armor. You picked the wrong fight. Armor won't save you. Light after light. 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 You make me angry. That was a bad idea. Anything in order is all mine. Raging cascade. Mega ray. Raging spear. Raging spear. Raging spear. 
when crafting weapons. Looks like some solid equipment. Is it in the sky? It's mine! 
You've got pretty yeah. impressive aim there. Yeah. Yeah. Thought of picking up the rifle yourself? Meh, nah. this is more my style. You're Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. I'll do better. In a bind? I'm out of ammo. Get out of there by the power of flint! Not today! Let's get you all tucked away. Flaming me! I can give it all to you. Looking fearsome and loud. You must be rubbing off on me. <laughs> Let's kiss some ass, kid. He fights better at a distance. The further away, the better. You and I both. Astral energy! Full throttle! Go! With this, I can become even stronger. Radiant light! This one's mine! 
Necessary when creating weaponry. Seriously, is this a joke?
My word. This must be the work of Providence. Probably what now? Amy. Destiny. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, though. Here's the 
Scarlet Inferno! Double Demon Fist! Radiant Pierce! I'm ready! Light Astro! Look what you've got this one! Double Skida! Huh! Far enough! Take it! Confiscated! Sword Rain Alpha! Rekango Astro Energy! Huh! Glacial Spear! Here's the evil! Free Blazer! Add some more flames into the mix. The Zoogles here are putting up a real fu fight. That just goes to show how important this place is. Or perhaps they simply thrived freely here under such harsh conditions. I don't give a damn why. The astral energy here is so dense. It's like trying to walk through water. I know the Great Spirit's will is in the center of Rena, but with the world in this state, the entire planet has become its body, right? So doesn't that mean we're already inside it? I would say that is horrifyingly correct. After all, the further we climb, the denser the astral energy becomes. <sighs> What's the matter, Rinwell? Are you not feeling all right? No, it's nothing like that. It just feels like the energy here is a little more intense than it was before. You mean Rena's energy? Yeah. It's like when I made contact with Dana's will in the Wedge. It's almost as though I can understand what Rena's will is thinking. But Rena's will is supposed to be a lot stronger. Aren't we risking the Great Spirit controlling us if we interact with it directly? I don't think we have to worry about that. Rena's will is only supposed to control true Renans, like the Helganquil. If we can discern what the Great Spirit is thinking, too, we might learn something, a weakness. But just to be safe, let me contact it alone. Are you insane? Rinwell, you're gonna... <gasps> Rinwell! There was only meant to be one world. And your goal is to make them one. Is this fear? Rinwell? Rinwell! Are you okay? No, I'm... I'm fine. I think... What were you thinking? You could have gotten yourself killed! He's right. You had us all terrified, Rinwell. I'm sorry. I really, really am. But... but... I know now! I know how the Great Spirit thinks! I know what it wants! How it feels! Rena's Great Spirit wants to complete the world. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying it's trying to make something? Yes, exactly. Originally, Dana and Rena were meant to be one world. But that never happened. They've stayed separated, and the Great Spirit wants to finish the process. What do you mean, one world? How is that even possible? I don't know, but its will is clear. That's what the Great Spirit is trying to accomplish. The only problem is that since Rena's energy isn't evenly spread like Dana's, it seems like it'll vanish before that happens naturally. 
So it's trying to absorb Dana while it still can, so that it can force the two planets to unite. Is that what you're saying? The Great Spirit is scared. But it's not scared the way a rational person would be. It's more raw and undiluted. Like just pure fear. Like an animal, acting out of instinct. Although admittedly, an animal would be easier to communicate with. At the very least, I have my doubts that it recognizes us as sentient beings with a reason for coming here. Earth, water, fire, and wind energy exist in both worlds, but only darkness and light can be found within Rena and Dana, respectively. The Renis Alma, as far as we know, the only host capable of harvesting the astral energy, is composed of all six. Knowing all that, Renwell's findings do sound plausible. That sounds a lot like Xion's thorns, doesn't it? The whole reason the Great Spirit is trying to unite Dana and Rena into one world is in order to save itself. And if her thorns are part of the Great Spirit, then they must also be trying to save themselves? Alfin, what is it? We thought the only way to free your thorns was for you to die. Yet despite that, they seem to be doing everything in their power to stop that from happening to you. Something wasn't adding up. But then I just realized something. If the Great Spirit doesn't want to die, then neither would your thorns. Those same emotions, that fear, that determination, and its energy must have been the same thing that was keeping you alive. You were its vessel. In that case, is that why her thorns caused so much pain to anyone who touched her? Because they were trying to protect themselves? If that's all true, then... Well, it's more than a little ironic. The Great Spirit merely expresses its desires. I imagine it was the Helganquil who were likely tasked with putting together and implementing an actual plan. Xion... I'm okay. We need to hurry and clean this mess up before it gets out of hand. Still, even if the current state of the world is wrong like you said, does that really make everything okay? If the world had been whole from the start, as it should have been, there'd be no Dana and no Rena, no masters or slaves, no lords, no crown contest, maybe just peace. To think, all this started because of the Great Spirit's desire to keep living. The only reason it craves energy is because it's dying from starvation. When you think about it like that, maybe the things it's done aren't so strange after all. If Rena had been more like Dana, things would have worked out a whole lot better. It's like Hevrecht 35 told us. The Danan and Renan spirits are meant to be completely different beings. Rena's energy amassing in one place led to its developing a powerful will. But that also made it crave energy, sapping Rena dry until it perished. Whereas Dana's energy is dispersed, meaning its will never developed to the same extent. And without that hunger, Dana the planet was spared. As for which is correct, well, I'm not sure it's our place to even say. Still, I can't help but think it reminds me a lot of the dichotomy of the human condition. Dichotomy? What do you mean? Those who know not satisfaction are driven to keep devouring without limit. But those who are content with their lot in life rarely fulfill their potential. I imagine it's likely that the larger Rena's great spirit grew, the more and more powerful its hunger also became. Everything in moderation. When all said and done, maybe that's the hardest thing for people to learn.